Hey, hey we're, we're Cedar, Cedar Couple. Couple. Hey, everybody, welcome back to Cedar Point. Today, we're going to show you how to win a game of skill called Bank a Ball. Looks easy to win, difficult to master. We're going to show you guys the tricks on how to win and bring home that big, big plush. So come along, let's have some fun, and we're going to show you guys how to win. Let's go. So these are some of the prizes that you can win here at Bank of All. Look how big these prizes are. They've got the awesome dragons, and then if you wrap around the side here, they have the monkeys, the huskies, the red pandas, the sloths, and the orange monkey. How cool are those? Those are huge prizes. I started it. Oh, God. Welcome to Bank of All. We are going to show you guys the two easiest ways to win this game with a little bit of practice, some accuracy, and just a tiny bit of luck. You guys will be able to bring home these big prizes too, and we're going to show you both ways to win today. Technique number one on how to win bank a ball. In this game, you're allowed to have your elbow up to the edge of this bar. What the object of this is you want to have your arm extend as low as possible, keeping your elbow on the shelf, release the ball low, and aim at a high angle towards the plush in the back. You want the ball's trajectory to be straight, no downward, no downward motion at all. Hit the top, bounce up, and land in the bucket. And later in the video, you're going to see uh, a few slow motion video of how that works and the angle as well. But let me show you here real quick. You're going to put your elbow like this. You're going to extend your arm as, uh, as far as they'll allow you to extend it. And you're going to pop it up. But you got to be about a half inch below that top bar. So you can see how little downward arcing angle the ball has when it hits the board in this throw here. That's a perfect example of how you want to execute this strategy. Here's a different angle. You want to roll the ball off your fingers towards the top of that board in as straight of a line as you can. Don't get discouraged if flops like this happen. Sometimes the simplest thing, like switching to a different board, can make the biggest difference. All right, technique number two uh, is a high arcing throw, which makes it difficult with these plush here and a little bit of the wind, but a high arcing throw that hits just about a half inch above the bottom bar, and it should skim off, hit the front, and stay in. Uh, I haven't won this one very often. Uh, we normally do the, the other technique that we just showed you, but we're going to give it a shot anyway today, and hopefully I don't hit these plushy tails. Oh, oh. The stick. that one was your closest that I needed a, just a half inch higher on that board and that would have been perfect. Close. That stick. stick, a half inch higher. Brady had a lot of very close throws using this strategy, but wasn't able to actually perfectly execute it. But hopefully you can understand the concept of how to execute the high arc strategy. Thank you everybody for watching. That is how you win bank of all. It is a game of skills, so make sure you guys practice. Watch the video back. You can slow it down frame by frame. That's how I learned. Get out there, win some prizes. Make sure you leave a comment below on which great prize you would have won here today. And like and subscribe if you like the video. And we will see you in the next how to win game. Thanks for watching.